just crazy. I don't like this. There's been a lot of buzz around autonomous vehicles. And today we're here with the Cadillac CT6, which if you couldn't tell by the windshield decal, is equipped with their Super Cruise technology, which is basically like a super version of their adaptive cruise control. And we're gonna be driving from Memphis, Tennessee, all the way to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Let's go see how this technology works. Super Cruise is the first hands-free driving system for the highway. Cadillac is offering this in Model Year 18 in the CT6 sedan. It allows the driver, when on the highway, to engage the Super Cruise system and remove their hands from the wheel while it drives you in the lane you're in. Super Cruise qualifies as level two autonomy by the Society of Automotive Engineers. But what does that mean? Level zero is simply a car without any automated features whatsoever. Level 1 is adaptive cruise control and our lane keep assist. Level 2 is essentially the last stage before we can start thinking of these cars as truly self-driving. While the car can do basically everything in the right conditions, it still requires driver input for certain maneuvers and the driver must be ready to take over at any time. So that's where we're at with Super Cruise, but how does it work? So when conditions are ideal like this, uh, we're on a Cadillac map freeway. We have gone out and mapped the 160,000 miles worth of highways in the U.S., as well as mapping all the freeways in Canada um, to allow the feature to use that mapping information to perform this blue line calculation. And the blue line is our term for what the vehicle path is. So this would be the line that theoretically is in the center of the lane that you're driving in. And we utilize the sensor inputs both from cameras, radars, the map system, and our precision GPS to determine the optimal path that the car will follow. And that's what we call the blue line. So when all the conditions are met like they are right now, all I have to do is center myself in the lane and then watch for a steering wheel icon come up in the gauge cluster. And then I hit the Super Cruise button, look for the green light on the top of the steering wheel, and I can let go of the wheel and let it drive itself. BMW has a system, Mercedes has a system, the Tesla Autopilot maybe is the most famous system that is competitive to us, but all of those systems require that the driver at various intervals put their hand on the wheel. Ours is the first truly hands-free driving experience the technology that allows us to do that, that the rest of our competition does not have, is this driver attention system that monitors the driver's attention as opposed to them putting their hands on the steering wheel. There's a little infrared camera in front of me that is constantly looking at my face and eye movements to make sure that I'm looking at the road in front of me. In conditions such as construction zones, um, adverse weather conditions, snow conditions. Those are conditions where the driver needs to be ready to take over the vehicle to do the driving task if Super Cruise is unable to perform that task. So depending on the speed I'm going, I can have four to 20 seconds of looking away from the road. Uh, and if it thinks I look away too long, it will vibrate my seat and turn red at the top of the steering wheel. Super Cruise works on what we call divided controlled access highways. So what that means is highways or road systems that are divided by a barrier. And also that we do not have crossings across the road. We have controlled access, which is entrance and exit ramps. At the beginning, it's a little unnerving giving the control over to the car, uh, but now it's almost annoying when the system doesn't work and I have to drive again. <laughs> so Super Cruise is for Drivers who spend time on the highway, either your daily commute to the office where you're dealing with traffic conditions, the system provides unparalleled comfort and convenience in those situations, or people who drive long distances on the highway to say travel to relatives, travel for vacation, where it really provides a flexibility and convenience that no other feature provides. After spending two days and 1,200 miles behind the wheel, I think it's pretty safe to say that Cadillac Super Cruise works pretty well. I came into this thinking that this would be an autonomous vehicle, but really it's the best version of cruise control I've ever experienced. 
you know, we drove from Memphis to Santa Fe and I really don't feel fatigued. You know, because it's not an autonomous vehicle, you always have to be paying attention. And because of that, you can't nap or look at your phone too long because the system might need your input at any given time and it can be abrupt. That being said, Cadillac Super Cruise might be a good first step for someone who's not yet ready to give complete control away, but letting it take over on long stretches of highway and who really likes driving on those anyway?